Is aquaponics the key to a more sustainable future? In this video, we're going to check out reasons why aquaponics might may be a more sustainable future for fish farming. We're going to cover things including global food storage, how plants act as natural filters in aquaponic systems, how aquaponics conserves water, the conditions required for aquaponic systems to work properly, and the impact of beneficial bacteria in an aquaponic system. Is aquaponics a better than traditional method of fish farming? Maybe. Let's learn more. The world is constantly changing, and the world agriculture and food production is changing as well. A consistently increasing world population means that urban sprawl is taking over what was once fertile farmland. How do you keep growing enough food to keep up with population increase? Did you know that millions of people live in drought-stricken areas and arid climates? Or did you know that because of overfishing, fish numbers are dropping throughout the world's oceans? Leading experts predict increasingly severe global shortages of fish in the future. Fish supplies around the world are plummeting, oceans are being overfished, and large-scale fish farming on land produces a habitat for animal species. So what exactly is aquaponics and how does it help? Aquaponics is an ingenious growing system that produces edible fish using the concepts of hydroponics, which is growing without soil, and further add live fish into the system. Aquaponics is the blending of two important ideas combining fish farming with hydroponics. Let's talk about what hydroponics is. It's basically soilless gardening. Let's break down an aquaponics system. Aquaponics creates an artificial ecosystem where fish are fed, then their waste is broken down by beneficial bacteria into an absorbable food for plants, which is then circulated through the system. The plants act as a natural filter that clean the water and then is recirculated back to the system and back to the fish. So in aquaponics, you're not only getting fish as a food source, but fresh plants as well. In normal fish tanks or fish farming system, fish waste builds up and can make the water toxic to the fish. So what they have to do with this spilled water is they need to purify it. And after they've purified the filter, they have to dispose of it so the fish waste is actually disposed of in current fish systems. In an aquaponic system, this isn't the case. The fish waste is recycled and used as plant food. The waste spilled water is recirculated through the system instead of being disposed of. A key component of the aquaponic system is the beneficial bacteria. They are key to the system because they are what breaks down the fish waste so that it can become absorbable by the plants. It's crucial to remember that the network of beneficial bacteria are needed in order for an aquaponic system to work. Remember, it's not just about water, plants, and fish. We need to have the beneficial bacteria in place in order to break down that fish waste and make it absorbable for the plants. Now this beneficial bacteria is very fragile and it has to be cared for very carefully. This means that you can't use any chemicals that could harm this beneficial bacteria. You need to always make sure that you keep your beneficial bacteria in good living condition. Let's talk about some ways to keep this beneficial bacteria healthy. Tips include keeping a neutral pH balance in your water and making sure that you have lots of surface area for your bacteria to attach to. Raft and deep water culture systems have enough surface space for bacteria to grow, but some systems require you to add additional mesh in order to allow the bacteria to have something to grasp onto. Beneficial bacteria convert the fish urine and feces into nitrate. Further then, additional beneficial bacteria convert the nitrate into nitrate which is a form of nitrogen that plants can absorb and fish can tolerate in the water at low levels. Without this important change from nitrate to nitrate, toxic levels of nitrate would remain in the water and damage the fish. Why would someone choose commercial aquaponics or small-scale home aquaponics over traditional methods of fish farming and vegetable farming done separately? The first point to make here is how the aquaponic system recirculates water efficiently. Aquaponic systems are very good solutions for countries that have droughts and limited water supplies. An aquaponic system allows people to grow more food with less water. 
Since aquaponics doesn't require synthetic nutrients or pesticides either, it can be a super cost-effective means of food production. Eating fish is highly nutritious, so having a large supply that's accessible to many people is a great healthy option and aquaponics makes fish farming seem almost like an inexhaustible food supply. So if we're serious about a long-term sustainable fish farming solution that will protect oceans, combat land loss due to urban sprawl and reduce habitat destruction in the future, aquaponics is something we have to consider to make fish a sustainable food source. Some different types of fish that do well in a closed environment aquaponic system include tilapia, white bass, crappie, and barramundi. So in review, a constant population means more urban sprawl is taking over what was once fertile farmland, causing food shortage droughts, and arid climates are also causing food shortages. And aquaponics is an artificial ecosystem created in which fish are fed their waste and is broken down into more absorbable forms by beneficial bacteria and the converted waste is pumped through the system where it feeds plants and the plants act as a natural filter cleaning the water which is then recirculated through the system. Aquaponics eco-friendly can be cost effective in any market. Could aquaponics be the fish farming solution of the future? What do you think? Tell us in the comments below.